So I was doing some upgrade testing in the lab and I went ahead and upgraded from our 7.1.1 to the newly released 7.1.2. I wanted to show you some of the new features as part of the upgrade process in the 7.x family and how everything looks. So let's get started. In the main dashboard, we're going to click on settings and then software update. So you will see three options, product patches, security patches and upgrade. We're going to click on the upgrade tab. Two new settings here. We have upload CRL file or run your pre-upgrade checks. If we click on upload CRL file, you'll get this little informational message and basically this is where you could upload your certificate. Next we're going to click on run pre-upgrade check. Next we're going to look at the details here. And there wasn't really a whole lot other than it showed that it passed so hopefully in future releases you can see more and then we have the ability to filter out if you did have something that failed next we're going to click on get new package and just like before you could provide the download url or upload a package especially if you are on a dark site i went ahead and downloaded the file and now i'm going to click on upload and upgrade And now we wait for the upgrade to start. What I'll do, it will run some pre-checks again, download the package, and then start actually upgrading the cluster. If you are interested in what's going on with the upgrade, you can click on the show tasks hyperlink. That'll show you what is exactly going on in the cluster, which nodes have upgraded, and where it is in the upgrade, which services it's stopping, and what it exactly it's doing at that point in time. A new thing I noticed, there's a cluster upgrade and process button. If you're not sure the cluster has finished upgrading, from the main dashboard you can always click on settings and summary. And this will give you the version of the cluster. In this case you see where we show the version 7.1.2. And that's it for this video. I'm going to make another video of some new features, UI options and stuff that you'll see in the 7.x family. I hope this was helpful and informative and thanks for watching.